Algareb AM, real quick, they put out an episode this week. It was great. In that episode, they covered multiple things. You should go check it out. Uh, you can find them on iTunes, any, any, all of the places where podcasts are. One of the things that they did say on there is that they've decided that they're going to start expanding their coverage uh, of other to other games. They're not going to just cover Elite anymore. They're going to cover other games. This is nothing new. Everybody has heard pretty much every content creator go along. Most of the content creators go along that route. So it is what it is. Frontier news. Patches. Not really. Newsletter. Update stuff. Nothing super informative. Streams. Tweaked. I did not watch any of the streams that they did. Although, I will be tomorrow watching the Thursday stream because I just heard that... Uh, that the burrs were on it, and I absolutely love and adore the burr pit, the burrs. So, uh, was there anything really good on the streams that you want to call out? Um, no, not really. They, the Tuesday stream, they basically said it's not Super Cruise news this week because uh, we're putting that to every two weeks now, as they had said previously they were going to do, and they did some community stuff. And then, as you said yesterday, the burrs were on showing how to use the wonderful new camera suite. So that was it. There was no news at all. Okay. Roy, take it away for Galnet and Community Goals. Yeah, so uh, on Galnet, uh, August 2nd, we had Marlinists in crisis after the Starport bombings. Um, yeah, you know, they're bombing each other, and they've uh, just lots of messages going back and forth, and one of the first ministers is dead, and uh, just a lot of chaos. Um, and varying opinions across the bubble about uh, what to do about that. Um, August 3rd, superpowers respond to new onion head, um, just kind of the tale of the story about the new variant being produced and it's still illegal. Uh, August 5th, federal forces combat new rebellion. That's setting up the CG so you can fight for the feds or against the feds to affect which systems may or may not secede. And then one that just came out uh, since we've been on air, August 6th, Thargoid cultists prepare for religious voyages. So this is the the Thargoid cultists, the folks that uh, are treating the Thargoids as um, you know emissaries from beyond, uh, apparently are loading up in three megaships. One's going to sort of truck around the bubble, I guess, recruiting people, and the others are going to be set up for long-range journeys. So that's kind of interesting to see where that goes. Um, that's the Galnet news, and I just mentioned the community goals for against the feds to figure out who secedes or doesn't. Okay. So, yeah. Good deal. Uh, that CG is set up such that the higher the number of... I mean, if... If it's a tie, one system leaves. If the leavers win by, you know, more than one tier, then it adds to the number of systems that go interesting stuff if you are following all of that then yeah have have fun with that um based on the numbers it doesn't look like a lot of people are yeah. yeah but the people that are are overwhelmingly by like a factor of 10 going in favor of the you know help the people find freedom instead of being under the you know under the heel of the federation so yeah good 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 stuff uh, all right let's talk about real quick the changes from patch six now that we've had some more time to live with them number one the camera suite change is actually much better than the patch notes indicated uh, that invisible wall that doesn't seem it doesn't seem to stop the camera from say flying circles around a fleet carrier but rather it just stops you from seeing stuff you shouldn't see like behind the door at a guardian site so the way that it said it in the patch notes it made it seem like ah they just switched the fade to black with an invisible wall no no only in certain cases it seems like camera suite is way way better so salute good job um the planetary scanning heat map uh, for, for life forms now lingers much longer, right through to just about the end of the planetary approach glide, which makes for a much better experience if you're trying to scan biologicals. Uh, they fixed the borked update uh, to uh, patch six that was locked. Uh, they had that AMD thing, and it literally was locked for the first several days for to performance mode only. You couldn't uh, 
switch it to a mode because like even amd was like don't use the performance mode in anything other than the most dire of circumstances because it degrades the video uh the the, the image too much um yeah frontier had it locked to just that in their um, for whatever reason i don't want to ascribe motive but they fixed it so now you can set it to uh, a good mode you can set it to a balance or whatever so good good for them um the elite uh, discussion topic, we're going to just hit this super, super brief because we're super late. But I want to give a huge shout out to community manager Sally Morgan Moore. Uh, she's been killing it lately. Uh, she's been killing critics with kindness and acting as a human issue tracker. If you remember back early in June, Frontier on multiple times through their community manager, uh, Art Tolmy, uh, stated that they knew the issue tracker was broke. They were going to, they had a fix for it. They were going to give us more details on that before the end of the month of June. It is now August. They have not said another word about that. But Sally has been acting as a human issue tracker and following up directly with people, enlisting people who had complaints and issues to gather more data and funneling that. However, it is, it's happening. It seems to be getting through to the appropriate devs. And she's having success and results with getting back. Okay, I got this answer for you. We got this fixed. We got something in the works. We got this. We got that. The camera suite thing with Sally, um, getting the 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 soundtrack and login stuff for for uh, lepers. Uh, Sally, uh, multiple things. It's like oh this problem, and Sally's like okay, we're on the case. I got a fix. It's gonna come. And then like two days later, three days later, a fix. Like multiple things so if i'm gonna criticize frontier when they do wrong i definitely also want to salute them when they do right and sally's getting it done i don't know what needs to happen to make more of that but if anyone is listening that has any power whatsoever still uh yeah more of that that is good and while we're at it uh this video that i saw with the uh, 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 Breaker of Worlds, with the, the Ice Planet, like... Okay, let's just put it straight, Frontier. You're not going to out Star Citizen, Star Citizen. So they're doing... They have more people and more money and more tech, and they're doing a better job than you at certain things. Making stations and making in-depth loops of stuff and making ship interiors while we're at it. And all these things, you're not going to outdo them at what they do. What you have, what you have that's golden pretty much that other people don't have is two things. You have exploration and you have anti-Xeno combat in a, in a way that's super meaningful and interesting. And you have a phenomenal top-notch flight model for combat for pvp for whatever so you need to start divesting yourself of grind loops that you need to start divesting yourself of anything that keeps people away from those three things the three areas where you're better than everyone else is the exploration the ax combat and the pvp any grind that gets people away from that keeps people from those you need to get rid of Anything you can do to add meaningful stuff to those three things, to those loops, you need to add to it. It's that simple. You do three things better than everyone else. Star Citizen does a hundred things better than you. Stop trying to do the things that they do better and go do the things that you do better. Uh, anybody real quick want to hop in with a comment on that? I think you're absolutely right. I think that that is, it, that, I mean, you've got, you've got to be blunt at this point. You've got to, you know, um, just tell it like it is. And that is like it is. Yeah, definitely. I think one of the reasons why exploration isn't dead is because there isn't much grind to it. Mm. You don't have to grind forever to prepare for it or to continue doing it. But in Which and of itself, it can get boring as I think uh, Patches McFluffy said, like 
they need to I, put i think they need to use proc gen to put more stuff out there to make that exploration more meaningful i i, yeah, I think I, I, I don't disagree with that i'm saying though that the level to which that's necessary i think is more of a personal taste thing and like what do you what, what are you getting out of the game um are you, are you going there for uh, uh you know uh, serotonin or adrenaline which one you know it's different and um i would love to see more proc gen but good lord i don't want to see the kind of circus that's in no man's sky uh, on every planet i go to in the late that would that would that would be them trying to out no man's sky no man's sky oh i, I get it'll be a wrong direction i agree 100 percent. anybody else before we close out this one yeah no i, I, I mean, agree totally oh, with what you were saying with getting rid of the grind and everything the problem is is we still have seen no sign of that they doubled down on the grind with with odyssey and and yeah. they don't seem to realize that that's a mistake so i i just don't have any faith that they're gonna realize that they gotta focus on what they do good and the grind is not the gameplay oh you're not wrong patches so the thing i want to just add on on tweaks is they've added to the grind and and me who has you know uh, a family that that i'm you know dealing dealing with anyways that i have in the back you know as, as my real life thing i have a job and stuff my play time is very limited so i'm less interested in something that i need thousands and thousands of hours to, to basically grind out i'm just you know over exaggerating versus something i can get a quick fast fix that i find i, I star citizen has versus elite now, but like you said you you can focus on the things you're good at and then knowing that they're focused on those and that game is specific to, to that those three things when i have time to focus on those three things i'm reaching for that particular you know cup of coffee versus you know another 